Hi, I'm here with Marty Fritz, and he's Chief Investment Officer of LLFAdvisors.com. And Marty, I know you do a lot with uh, you know income investing and this low rate environment. So rates probably going up at some point pretty soon. When do you think the Fed's going to raise rates? From the looks of it, it's going to be at the earliest late in 2015. A lot of uh, smart people out there are thinking that it won't really be until 2016. And when you really get down to it, we could be in a very different environment, partly because of the demographics and the low growth that we may be seeing in years to come, where we'll remain in a fairly low rate environment, not necessarily quite as low as we are right now, but uh, that may be uh, true for a long time to come. So. It's been shifting, you know, everyone thought it was going to be June uh, 2015, then September, December. What's changed? What's pushed the, the outlook on the raise in interest rates out further? Well, a big part of it has to do with Europe because the European Central Bank is going into a bond buying program. Uh, they'll keep rates low there. The economy remains sluggish. And as the world investors, the sovereign wealth funds, for example, from some of the countries, look at where they can put their money, they just have to say, well, in Europe, I'm getting less than 1% on 10-year bonds. Uh, the U.S., as low as the rates are by historical standards, still looks relatively attractive. And how are you advising your clients and you know, directing your investments to deal with that new rising rate environment? Well, one uh, solution, of course, is to keep fairly short and be able to roll over into the new environment as rates go up. But I think you do have to keep the um, whole issue of market value in perspective. You know, if you really can't tolerate any volatility at all, you really have to stick with CDs or something very short. Uh, we're in an environment where there is going to be some volatility. Uh, the key thing is to avoid the permanent capital losses, such as defaults on bonds, mm -hmm. where you really don't have the opportunity to make that money back. Great. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining us.